Arnold, Arnold was magnificently self-confident. And, um, and the, the same traits that made him a great battlefield commander, uh, that he was always right and he would survive no matter what, made him a great traitor. He did not see himself as a traitor. He had become so disillusioned with Congress, with what was happening to the American people, that he felt that the ultimate patriotic act would be to end his country's misery and to bring back the British. And so he did not see himself as a traitor. He saw himself as the ultimate patriot. And completely in keeping with his character, uh, where you know, he had ultimate self-confidence, which could serve him magnificently on the battlefield when others were losing their resolve. Uh, it led him to commit uh, the most uh, risky act, you could argue, of the revolution of turning traitor to the country that he had supported for all that time. And once again, he never saw himself as a traitor. He saw himself as his country's potential great deliverer.